I'm gonna update with a shopping haul. And here's Buddy. I doesn't. And he is five months today, guys. So this is Dawson's five month update. And if you're wondering where I am, because this is not usually where I film, we are in a nursing um, section in the mall. There's a sink in here. I'll, sh I'll show you guys the whole thing, but it's really elegant and nice. And there's a rocking chair, really nice to nurse in. There's a diaper pail, diaper changing station, and it's really nice. Um, and we went shopping for vacation clothes for, again, we're going on vacation, as you guys know, in September, but you don't know where yet. And so we went shopping. So, for Dawson's five month update, I'm trying to get both of us in the camera. Um, Henry has, oh, there we go. Henry has my tripod in the car. Um, and so, this little thinker's five months, and he's wearing a Charlie Banana cloth diaper today. He's looking at himself in the viewfinder. Um, so, with breastfeeding and everything that's going on, since we're in the breastfeeding room, I guess we'll start with that. Dawson has acid reflux, as you guys know, and a possible milk protein allergy and a soy allergy, which is why we've been dairy and soy free. Um, on Wednesday, he's getting a GI specialist appointment and getting tested for it. I am crossing my fingers that it is just a milk allergy and nothing further, or maybe not even a milk allergy. But even if he does not have a milk allergy, we are still going to be dairy free with certain things and eat a lot better because since we've been dairy free, we've been feeling better about ourselves and the way we eat. Um, not going out to eat as much, um, just watching what we put in our bodies, which is great. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. Sorry I'm saying um a lot. I'm just, it's really hot <laughs> outside today. And the mall and there's a lot of people. It's crowded. And let's see. With his acid reflux, he was taken off his medicine two months ago. I should have just self-medicated him myself. A lot of parents do that. But I didn't and the symptoms got worse. So he's getting an appointment and we're going to make sure everything's okay with him. Nursing isn't being, isn't a great journey at the moment. I've had my breakdowns as you guys know and I've cried a lot. <laughs> I'm probably going to cry right now. And we went to the breastfeeding support group and found out that Allison has not only lip tie but a tongue tie as well. I don't know why it's not focusing on that. And that's why he doesn't bring back the nipple completely. And that's why he's having a hard time nursing. He seesaws my boobs back and forth. I have to have both of them out when I feed him sometimes. And, sorry, I'm just trying not to cry. I have to have both of them out sometimes to feed him. And at night, he gets the worst. He cries so bad and he refuses the boob, pushes me away even though he's hungry. Throws a fit to the point where he just falls asleep and becomes so hungry that when he wakes up, he really, I don't know why it's not going to say, really wants food. And it's becoming really depressing. I am trying my best to continue breastfeeding him by eating right, drinking a lot of water, and taking care of myself as well, because I still want to breastfeed him. Uh, our goal is a year. But today we are five months in, and it's been a long journey, and it's gonna to continue to be a long journey. Breastfeeding is not easy. It's not something that you learn overnight. Every single day is different. The baby could feed one hold one day, and then the next day you have to switch it. So if you guys are on a breastfeeding journey, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you'll get there, and it gets better, it gets easier. Um, I say that because at, with Kaya, like you guys know, I only did a short time, but with Dawson, it's getting easier and getting easier, but then it stops and then it gets harder and then there's a new challenge that we face that day. But we're still reaching our goal. We're getting there. Um, and it's, it's very sad, but I'm doing everything I can in my power to continue breastfeeding him. We have been using formula and giving him bottles, small bottles, 
sometimes he will take two ounces depending and I do nurse first and if he refuses the boob and freaks out and cries and you know I can't do anything and I can't pump I have to give him a bottle because I'm not gonna refuse food from my child I'm I'm not doubting myself I'm not um, I don't feel bad giving him formula. I just, breastfeeding is something that I really want to do. And you know, if it's something that we end and we don't make it to a year, it happens. And I know that I didn't fail myself and I didn't fail him because I gave him enough that he needed. If I still get breast milk, then I will definitely donate. That's something that I want to do as well if we don't, we can't keep breastfeeding. Um, We'll see how it goes, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated as much as I can. Um, I will talk more about breastfeeding. If you guys don't want to end the vlog that much, and you just want to see our day-to-day -day lives, what we do, then I'll just do personal videos with his mouth updates and keep it all in there. Um, his milestones that he's reaching, he's now blowing bubbles. He is so flirtatious. <laughs> he says hi in his own way. Um, he waves his arms around, gets excited, and really thrilled when he sees another person communicate to him. Um, he is rolling over from back to belly. He has not got back, um, belly to back yet, but he's getting there. He Tummy time is really hard for him sometimes because of the acid reflux. He gets really frustrated, and I don't blame him. Um, for you guys who don't know what acid reflux is, it's like heartburn for babies. So it's really hard for him to um, digest the milk and it sits there and it doesn't go all the way down and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. You know how you have that, like, that wet, nasty burp and it's so hard to get out and then when it finally does, it causes you a lot of pain. That's what happens to him every time he eats. And so it's really hard for him. So we're trying and he is getting a lot of tummy time in a lot more than usual, which is great. I'm so happy for him to hit those milestones and he's sitting up um, obviously with assistance but he does sit up and I'm so proud that he does and he does it he's awesome he stands he stands um, he does stand I do help him but he stands up on everything and which is a really good sign because Kaya did that and she was walking really fast. I don't expect him to walk before a year. It's whenever he decides to. Um, he just likes to stand, just like Kaya did. And he doesn't like to sit all that much. <laughs> With cloth diapering, he is definitely gonna getting a little bit bigger. So, and Mama wants more diapers. <laughs> but we did spend some money doing vacation shopping so we'll hold off on some diapers for a while <laughs> look how handsome he is he still has those baby blues i don't know when they're gonna change and if they don't change it's great who really care he is teething we did do the amber teething necklace it didn't seem to sorry he went to me. it didn't seem that um he really liked it all that much I'm gonna try to get comfy in this setting. 